Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on your our favorite Little Slaw YouTube channel. So today in this video, we're going to see this topic like how will you correlate values if there are no boundaries using JMeter. So in fact, this is one of the questions that I, that I have received from one of our subscriber. Uh, and uh, this is a question that's been asked in your interview and yeah several times i have faced this scenario where there were some responses where you don't have or you won't have the boundaries so in those scenarios how are you going to handle it so this is actually a real time challenge for any performance tester and yes in interview with yeah, some some of our subscribers have got this question so you can get this question in your next interview so be careful about it and please do watch this entire video there are like several videos following up but please do watch the entire video this will definitely help you and i want you to answer the question at the last i have a few questions for you as well so please do answer the questions at the last uh, in the comment section and you will get exciting gifts from little Sly youtube channel and yeah coming back to this one so how will you correlate values if there are no boundaries so usually for correlating what we normally do is we we have a left boundary and then we have a right boundary and any values that, that come inside in between that say for example a j session id so for example we take it like j session id equals and then any value after that equal to symbol and at the end there will be a semicolon symbol so anything with, between that say for example let me just uh, type it here i'll show you so it will be something like j session id equals and it will have some combination of numbers and then at the end it ends with the semicolon so what we normally do is we normally uh sorry let me remove this okay so what we normally do is we'll just remove this value here and then we add a bracket dot star question mark right so this is how we normally um, do the correlation right if i'm not wrong and there are like several other ways to do it but we do have to have a left boundary and then we do need to have a right boundary. What if you don't have it? What if you don't have a left boundary or right boundary? And how will you extract the value? And this is an interview question. So please do watch this entire video. So let's go back to my JMeter. And here I have my JMeter ready for you to answer the question. Let me go to the templates and let me add a recording template for the demo. Click on create, create again and let me enable it okay we don't need to enable it but yeah let's like as my practice i used to enable it that's fine go to the third group going through the recording controller let me add a dummy sampler sorry uh, i'm just going to give you a simple demo so i don't want to uh, worry about the responses i mean like in terms of collecting them in terms of executing all i want to give you is a direct answer so going to the dummy sampler so in the dummy sampler I'm going to give or I'm going to add the value. So the value, which means the actual response. If I, this is actually a real-time kind of a response one. And just imagine if this is coming as your response. So what I'll do is let me go to the view results tree and let me first save it. C drive and here bin drive and uh, okay demo underscore no boundary underscore zero one yes it's the first option there are like several other options so this is the first option that we're going to see today click on save and we have got um our uh, jmeter plan ready let me clear and i'll just run this one uh, i'll just show you in the view results tree you have got the response so this is actually the response so what we normally have to do is okay just imagine you don't have a, a proper left boundary or right boundary, right? So in this case, I'm going to use or I'm going to get the value uh, in this JSON. So this is actually a JSON response, right? So in this JSON response, so you might, you, you can ask me like, okay, you we do have a token uh, double quotes and I can use this as my uh, left boundary, right boundary. Yes, we do have, but what if, what if you don't have it? What if you don't have that as your response? So that's why we have got this uh, method. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's write the uh, let's actually add the JSON extractor. Since I have told you this is a JSON response, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 
json response from the post processor a json extractor so this json extractor will actually extract the values like how we do for correlation so in this case i'm not going to use any left boundary right boundary but instead let me okay uh, first i'll show you uh, which values i'm going to extract this token value that you see here this token value and so i'm giving the name this as the same token and then the json expression i'm going to add dollar data dot the reason is it's under the main parent i would say and then we have the session and under the session we do have the token right so what i'll do is data and then under that we have the session the child and then we do have another child so that in this case it's going to be token so data session token so we're going to extract the token value and yes match number is very important say for example if you have like multiple values yes you can actually fetch it so in case if you want to fetch a random value you can use zero as default but in our case i'm going to use one i'm going to fetch my first value and default values is going to be not found that's going to be fine and then i'm going to add another so i we have two options like one is i can add a a debug sampler where we can see the responses so let me first run it and i'll show you what happens so let me run it existing file view results tree yep so in the dummy sampler in the response okay jmt variable response data okay let me uh, use my uh, deep uh, sorry uh, the dummy sampler thing uh, let me remove it and let's add a another dummy sampler so i can print the value so in dummy sampler and here i'll print the value right okay so i'm going to print it in the response so it's going to be dollar open prices token because that's a variable name so i'm going to use it to print here no request data is required save it clear everything run it over an existing file view results tree in the dummy sampler okay it shows not found which means the value is not properly taken so we have to fix it we have to find what has happened so going to dummy sampler okay in the json extractor i could see dollar okay so one thing we missed it is dollar dot data yes so that's one thing so please <laughs> don't make this mistake like me so it's dollar dot data dot session dot okay so since i have added the value is not found i'm i was able to find okay there is some mistake and uh, I was able to quickly uh, fix it so that's a recommendation to you as well so go to the response data so here i can see not found which means there are some issues in the responses in terms of the extraction let's go back again what an existing file the dummy assign the view results yep so here we can see the value so like this we can actually fetch the value so in another example let me actually show you another uh, example as well so uh, i'm going to uh, the request and then i'm going to add another json extractor so in this extractor let's uh, extract the something interesting something like the user id so yeah this one something like this user id so what i'll do is so what we have to do is um, let's give a name it's going to be user id and then the json parameters will be dollar dot data dot user dot id because like i showed you here it's going to be data dot user dot id and i make sure that i have i have a period in between the dollar and the data let's fetch the first one and not found yeah that's very that's very important so not found and save it and then coming to the dummy sampler and let's uh, let me just copy this user id here coming to the dummy sampler dollar user id yep and let's now execute it and see what happens so an existing file view results tree Yep, so we have got the session the token part and then the um, the uh, user id so another interesting one uh, this is going to be a little bit tricky but this will definitely help you to uh, 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 learn a better uh, way so let me add another json extractor going to post processor json extractor so here let me add so what i'm going to extract let me tell that first so here if you see on the dummy sampler here we have got under the permissions we have got two access right uh, one is the more the first model the dashboard module and then we do have access to it and then admin module and access to it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, fetch the the second one okay so let me fetch the uh, access i mean the permission part right so it comes under data 
and then the permission and then the access right so what i'll do is let me go to the json extractor let me give a name it's going to be uh, admin access so that's going to be the second one so admin access part and again dollar dot data dot so here if you see uh, we have got two values right under permissions oh sorry just a moment my mouse is my mouse is cranky let me put a charge for that and yep we are ready to go got it so uh, we have got okay so in all the other options you do have like one user id uh, i mean under user you do have one items right or one name one email role even under the session you have you have like one token one reference token expires but in under the permissions you do have two options right one is the the first model the dashboard model and then you do have the admin module so since we're going to fetch the admin module let's go back to the json extractor and what i'm going to do is under the data and permissions i'm going to create an array right so when i create an array i automatically i can automatically fetch the second value so if it is the first value it has to start with zero and then if it is the first the second one it has to be one yes we are computer engineers so the number starts for us with from one to zero and uh, the match number is going to be one yep and not found sorry for some days i don't know i'm getting u inside between uh, o and u hurty <laughs> fine and let's print it right so uh let me print it here save it clear everything run it view results tree dummy sampler yes we have got the token the id and then the admin access and in this in our scenario my admin access for i mean my admin access is right so yep we got that and now the question session for you so let me open my uh, page here the whiteboard okay so the whiteboard is here so now I want you to uh, write the answers for the following questions. So the question goes like this. I want you to answer what is the uh, JSON path extraction for refresh token. You can uh, pass the previous uh, response and you can find the answer here. I want you to answer for if you can poss possibly answer all the answers. It's very high, it's very good. Or else expires at and uh, let me uh, again okay, use a role and then the complex one which is um, the um, dashboard access so i want you to answer the dashboard access what what is the access for the dashboard so please do answer at least one uh, it will be uh, i mean this is actually a practice for you because yes you all do watch the videos i i understand that and if you can uh, really really answer this question it will be very helpful for you and uh, let me even i can even upload this in my github so that you can um, download and you can um, uh, practice in your mission but all i want you to do is i want you to answer these questions in the comment section so please do answer in the comment section meanwhile let me add the code in the github so let me add the file and this is the uh, repo that you want to try so go to my uh since shanmugam and then under that you can see that in, uh, in uh, go to the jmt underscore github and there you can find this jmx file and that is that okay, let me click on that file upload files and then patchy jmeter yep and bin the recent one okay i don't know for some reason i have a not created a folder but let me create a folder demo underscore no boundary and as i told you this is the very first example and we do have several uh, examples that are coming in the in the way in the pipeline so let me upload this file for you uh, so please do start using from the github it will be more helpful for you to uh, learn how the github works and how to use this and here you have demo no boundary underscore zero dot jmx so extract it try it and please do let me know how does it work and yeah this is the answer and next time when your interviewer asks it asks for this please do give this example and we have we are also having multiple examples as well in the upcoming videos so thank you so much for watching the entire video and please do answer your um, understanding your and answer the questions thank you so much for watching the video so until i meet you all in our next video it's bye bye from us and your favorite little star youtube channel take care and bye bye